Now that we've created a big list of keywords, it's time to create a world-class product title. The product title is incredibly important. It's the first thing that a customer sees. If the title doesn't interest them or get their attention, then they're gonna scroll down past your offer and onto another listing that does give them the information that they need. It's incredible how few sellers spend adequate time on such an important exercise. Amazon themselves are guilty of subpar product titles, but you're not going to be. What is the product title? It's essentially a sentence that tells the customer what the product you have for sale is. Of course, the best product titles include keywords that customers currently use to describe the product in question, or in other words, the product they are searching for. You can probably see that a seller could therefore fool a customer by using a keyword for a product that doesn't accurately describe that product. Say for example, a seller finds that the word telescopic is used in the titles of the best-selling pool rakes. That seller could theoretically include the phrase telescopic pool rake in their title to take advantage of the customers that are searching for that particular keyword and that particular product or style of product. That is, of course, against Amazon's terms of service. The message here is to make sure that your keywords accurately describe your product. Don't include keywords that might confuse a customer. Also, on this note, it's important to stress that you shouldn't repeat any keywords in your title. Many sellers think that the more times they include a keyword, the more it will come up in search results. Don't do this, it doesn't work, and it makes your listing look absolutely awful. The final point to mention here is create a title that uses popular keywords and accurately describes your product, and you will achieve excellent results. Ignore the people who try to gain the system or include product or lifetime guarantees in their titles. This is just a way to get your account suspended. How do we actually construct a product title? Before I jump into the formula that I use, let's quickly mention a few key points about product titles. Firstly, your title should have a maximum length of 250 characters. Amazon may from time to time introduce changes to the character length rule, so you should always keep up to date with any announcements that you'll see on the Seller Central platform. Make sure that your keywords are relevant and mention things like the bonuses or extras you've included with your product, as well as important product specific information, such as the actual product size or dimensions of that product, as well as the pack, quantity, color, product materials, and optionally, the name of your brand. When I say product materials, I'm talking about what the product is actually composed of. If it's plastic, is it PVC, is it metal? Here's a simple overview of how you're going to create your title. Firstly, you'll access the list of keywords that you built using the competitor method, the Amazon suggestion tool method, and the third party services method that I taught you in the previous video. Then we'll start to flesh out a title that makes grammatical sense using relevant keywords, as well as including product specific information and any bonuses or extras that come with your product. Here's the simple formula we use. Firstly, we mention the brand name. Then we include the pack size. Let's say it's a 10 pack. So we might say 10 pack of X. Then we include the primary keyword. Let's say that it's a barbecue grill mat. We might say 10 pack of barbecue grill mats. Then we mention a secondary keyword. In this case, it might be baking mat. Notice mat is different to mats. We might say 10 pack of barbecue grill mats, baking mat. This doesn't make great reading, but it's pretty logical. Then we might decide to include other information before we go into size and materials, such as what it's used for. We might mention that it's good for charcoal and electric grills. Again, grills and grill are slightly different. We might say to read the title of a 10 pack of barbecue grill mats, baking mat for charcoal and electric grills. If it's made from non-stick materials or something like that, then we'll want to include that in here. Of course, if it's important to mention what it's made from, then absolutely mention it at that point. I strongly advise that you don't mention any other brands in the title, such as Teflon or something like that. Those keywords are dangerous because if they are branded keywords, those companies can actually object to what you're saying. I recommend using generic non-branded keywords. If you're gonna mention a brand keyword, then don't, it's as simple as that. When it comes to color, I only mention it early in the title if it's important. Otherwise, you can move color towards the end of the title by saying black finish or finished in black or something like that. 
If the barbecue grill mats were important that black was the color, then I'd say 10 pack of black barbecue grill mats, baking mat. There's some extra considerations that we need to make when we're looking at product title. The first consideration is that customers only see the first 60 characters of your title on smaller detailed pages. Let's look at what we mean by that. As you can see, these titles are very short. Therefore, we must make sure that we give customers enough information here to click into our listing. Getting the primary keyword close to the front of the listing is very important because of this. The second consideration is that on larger detailed pages, customers only see the first 107 characters of your title. While there's more information here as you can see, it's still important to be aware of this to make sure that you display enough information on these kinds of pages to entice more click-throughs. After all, you can only make a sale once a customer clicks through to your listing page, so it's critical we get this right. A final point that's extremely important is with bonuses. Never say that your bonuses are free using that exact word. Instead, say that your product comes complete with or comes with and then mention your bonus. I'm now going to demonstrate with an example how I put all of this together and produce a world-class product title. I will use the pool rake to demonstrate how to make a world-class product title. We're going to use the formula that I just mentioned, which is brand name plus color plus pack size plus primary keyword plus secondary keyword plus size and materials. In this example, however, the color is not important. The pack size is also not relevant to this example because we're only selling one pool rake. I will now paste in a title that I came up with and explain this in detail so you understand why I did this. So we've got swim time, six foot, heavy duty, aluminium pole rake, leaf skimmer, durable, comma, deep basket, complete with replacement net. I created this as an example to show you how the formula works. Swim time is the fictional brand that we created. We don't have a color, so I left that out. What is relevant to this product is the size and that it is heavy duty because one of the big objections that we had when we did the Amazon review mining process that I taught you in the product research phase was that this particular product had a lot of complaints that the products were very weak and they fell apart quickly. So we wanna let people know that ours is heavy duty and that that's not gonna happen with this particular product. So the size is six foot and we can add in here telescopic to describe the way the pole works. We then have heavy duty pull rake, which is a pretty good explanation of what the product is. We then have secondary keywords with leaf skimmer, because we know some people will search for pole skimmer or leaf skimmer or pull leaf rake instead of just pull rake, the primary keyword. We then have deep basket, which is important as well, because during our review mining, we saw that people complained that some products did not have a very deep basket to capture the leaves. And also some people might be searching for deep basket pull rake. We finished the title by saying complete with replacement net because I decided the bonus product will be a replacement net. So this is basically how you come up with a world-class title. I've given you the formula and as you can see sometimes we don't need to get every element of the formula into the title if it is not relevant such as color. So that's it for this video and I'll see you in the next video.